kaikille ja tervetuloa. Mun nimi on Heli. Tämä on 14 tunti. Tänään opimme milloin teititellä. Teititellä means to address formally. Teititellä. 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 And sinutella means to address informally. Sinutella. 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 Voidaanko sinutella? Uh, means uh, can we address informally? And they uh, might ask this, uh, for instance, uh, if you are in a hospital, uh, the nurses might want to know uh, how, to, um, how to speak to you. So they might ask, uh, voidaanko sinutella? And I think in Finland, most people want to be addressed informally. And uh, they might say, ei teititellä, ei teititellä. Uh, even if they are really old, they, uh, they might say, ei teititellä. Oh, don't do that, don't speak to me like I'm old. So, when to address formally in Finland? Uh, in Finland, we don't address formally as often as in other countries, uh, but uh, in customer service, uh, uh, they might uh, address formally everyone that looks older than 18, uh, but this really doesn't happen everywhere. Uh, for instance, there's one uh, operator that has uh, told that uh, Uh, they they shouldn't address formally anyone, even the older people, uh, because they feel more comfortable if they uh, speak uh, speak to you. <laughs> And um, uh, perhaps uh, some older people that you don't know, you could address formally if you bump into someone in train and you want to be polite, uh, politely asking what time is it. Um, but we really don't address uh, formally so often in Finland. Uh, so we don't address formally teachers, even the principal. The kids in school, they don't have to uh, address formally the teachers, like in some other countries. This is, uh, this is normal. And uh, of course, friends and neighbors, uh, Even the older people that uh, we know, like uh, our friends and parents that we've met before, if we know, know them, we, uh, uh, we don't address formally because uh, it's more comfortable. <laughs> and uh, on our own fa family, even the grannies, uh, we don't address them formally. And nowadays, some might even feel insulted if uh, someone addresses them formally. It's like, she thinks I'm old. <laughs> um, but if you speak politely, nobody is feeling insulted when you don't address formally. Uh, here are a few examples. If you ask, saisi uh, kahvia? It's uh, asking politely. Uh, It means like, uh, uh, would you uh, would you like to have some coffee? Uh, and uh, if you want to address formally, it would be, saisiko teille olla kahvia? Saisiko teille olla kahvia? Uh, and uh, if you say, saako sulle olla kahvia? That wouldn't be so polite. So, uh, saisiko olla kahvia? is polite and it, it's not addressing formally and this would not insult anyone. And uh, same like, uh, ottaisitko maitoa? is like asking, would you like to have some milk? And ottaisitteko te maitoa? would be uh, addressing formally. And otatko sä maitoa? Uh, is Not asking so nicely. <laughs> uh, ottaisitko maitoa would be a polite 
question, even, even it's not addressed formally. So, otatko sä maita, means like, uh, do you take milk? And otaisitko is like, would you like? So, using the would form and uh, not using the words uh, sulle or sä, you can speak very politely, even uh, when you are not addressing formally. And here's another example. Antaisitko maidon? Uh, would be like, uh, could you pass me the milk? And uh, antaisitteko maidon? Would be uh, uh, addressing formally. Or antaisitteko te maidon? And annatko maidon? Or annatko se maidon? Would be addressing informally. Uh, but also not so politely. Uh, for instance, uh, when we are eating uh, in, the, in the table, and if my kids would ask, annatko maidon? I would say, antaisitko? <laughs> like um, teaching them how to ask politely. Kiitos kun katsoit. Uh, on the next lesson, we are going over some time words like uh, usually, always, sometimes, uh, one year ago, next year, and so on. So I hope I see you soon. Bye.